hi and welcome back to my channel um, last video we did these watercolor swatch tags um, today I want to just show you how to do these really loose roses um, in watercolor now oh look I'm no watercolor expert I just play and whatever turns out turns out <laughs> So um, I was just having a play with that and I really liked how that came out and I thought well this could look nice in my journal as a um, uh, tuck spot, belly band, pocket, you know, any way, any way it sort of wants to go. So um, yeah I just thought I'd bring you along and you can check out what I was doing with this. So <clears throat> I hope you're well and happy. And if you're new here to my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe, press that bell, bell button for notification, and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. <coughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, I've got this little cup. Ben gave me this little, oops, this little, I think it's a shot glass. I can't show you. <laughs> it's got all pictures of Moscow on it. Moscow and, uh, yeah, all this, the buildings in Moscow. So I don't drink alcohol, so it came with the little teacups that he gave us. Here's the tea teacups that um, he gave us. And this is what they use over in Moscow to drink their tea out of. Um, he said on the trains, on the whatever, wherever you drink your tea, um, you get a glass like that and a little, came with a little matching spoon. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Something different. I've already made um, some cups of tea with it uh, and the little shot glass it was um it came with it as a you know like a um, touristy sort of gift all right now what I'm going to do with the watercolor this is just cheap watercolor it's no brand or anything um, I just think I just got it from it could even be just a Montmartre one that's a pretty pretty regular sort of watercolor paper so you just want to wet your paper down give it a nice um, coating of water to do this technique all right so I'm just going to pick some colors I'll do it similar to this one so you can sort of see and what you need to do is just um, do little half circles around each other like this and that paint will spread we'll do a nice orangey colored one See it's spreading already. And don't fuss be um with it spreading that far because we're gonna go back over and put some colour over the top once it starts to dry as well. Um, what other sort of colour rose? I'll do a nice little light purple one. Do a goldy yellow colour. So we'll mix some greens up and do some leaves. It looks like it's drying out a little bit there. Let's 
spray a bit of water on it. Oops, stay there. These are very loose um, <laughs> flowers where watercolour is concerned. So. paper's drying very quickly. Alright, so we're just going to let that sit and soak into the paper for a second. I might even um, bring my dryer. All right, I'm just going to pick up a little bit more colour. Not quite as wet as uh, the first time. And just do that again. Just do your little half circles. These, these aren't any special brushes either. These are just really cheap brushes. <laughs> I have got other brushes, but oh, I just thought I'll pick up what I've got sitting next to me and show you that they're not hard to do. And some purple. like that and then you can give that a dry too might just go in and add some more detail to this one this one must have been quite wet just a tad of water oops A little bit, a little bit more on this one. All right, I like that. And then what I did to sort of mute out this one a little bit was pick up some white, give that a good jiggle in my white and just splat some white on Ooh. like that and I think that's all I did right. fix this leaf up there we go Go back over the leaves too. Just give them a slight touch up. And 
And then, oops, keep, keeps coming off. Okay, so I'll just move that over. So I thought I'd give that a go, seeing as I had out my watercolour paint still, and see how that turned out. And I think it turns out quite nice for what I want to do. So let's bring in. I'll just um. Might just put a piece of scrap paper down just to um, so I don't get my book all mucky and I might move these watercolours let's put them up there alright let's see where we can put these in start at the back of because I always tend to go you know do a lot in the front and then you know you sort of peter out as you get to the back now I could put something down the side of there let me I don't know. there which one I think I like that one there all right so now what I want to do paper tends to warp a little bit I'm just going to grunge this up a little bit so I'm just going to get out my um Side inks. This is, I think that one is vintage photo, yeah. I think that's the only one I've got anyway. You know, in the way of making it look old. using this on things so that looks nice and what else no, I think I like it just like that. So all I did was put some um, script stamp on it. That comes up quite pretty, doesn't it? Hmm. So I might glue that down like that. Well, um, I'm not sure what else we could put on it just for now.
Well, that turned out quite pretty, didn't it? Just gives you that hint that there's roses there without just overpowering, overpowering it. I think the second one come out nicer than the first one that I did. They're still quite, they're still both nice. I like them both. So that's one. Excuse me. And let's put the other one in too. Maybe in the second signature. Let's find a spot for it. Maybe we could do it down like this way this time. Pick a side out that I like. I like all the colours. Maybe just like that. So we'll just cut a bit off each end. Because it's this watercolour card, it's quite sturdy. Doesn't need any um, backing or anything on it because it's quite sturdy. Come on, get in there. Put a bit of stamping on there too. coming off so it's a moron quite pretty isn't it that's just something simple that you can do um, we can put our tag in there it looks quite pretty um, we might be able to find a, um, a little label to I'm not sure where these ones these labels came from 
different lot that I bought. I'm going to cover the roses up too much. Yeah, that looks cute, doesn't it? Just a really subtle, um, subtle look of roses there. So I'll leave that one in that pocket. And where did we put the other one? <clears throat> I'm not sure where we put oh that was in that was in that one, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta <laughs> think where I'm putting things. I'll just stick it in there for now. Now another idea I wanted to do too was like with this um, corner thing here, this corner rose that I put in, I want to do a similar thing with my um, jelly paper. So let's tear, yep, let's tear towards me because I want, I don't know, this way tear towards me because I want that white line I like that white line it gives me a um, um, the illusion that there's layered paper layered paper so that's why I like that white line and then I can color put some color on top of that as well and then you, it looks like you've got um, see it looks like you've got one layer, two layers, three layers then. So that's the idea be t behind um, when you're tearing. If you like that layered look, or do it that way. So I just want to bring that in then somewhere. Maybe let's put it, oh we can put it there, that would look nice wouldn't it? Yeah, that would look pretty there. So this little side tuck. Can't have enough pockets and side tucks in these things. And see how that tear is giving me that layered look. One layer there, another layer there, another layer here. I like that. Alright, so I've got a pocket there too now. Let's um... Where did that... Oh, I think I might put that in that pocket. There we go. And even the little bits that I've cut off, you know, you could um, make that into a little page tab. Mm. 
like that. Put on a page tab. There's a page. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I um feeling a little bit better today, which is good. So. So there's a little page tab with some scrap. There's another piece of watercolour scrap here. We could do the same. Just cut it down a little bit because it's not so big. And put it in the second signature somewhere, eh? So there we go, we've made some pockets, we've done some watercolour painting, we've made um, a side tuck here. Love how that turned out, absolutely love it. And the other one was another pocket over here, it's just a few tabs, a uh, little, what do you call them? little um, ticket things on it they turned out really good didn't they so that was just the scrap from the tags that I've used the other day yeah nice happy with that so that's just another quick idea that you can um, put inside your journals um, I'll show you the two there together and then uh, which other one did we do um, this little side pocket where'd you go mr. side pocket here we go there so that that pocket and a little side pocket with my jelly print with just featuring one big rose okay so that's me for today just another quick video and a play in this rose journal of um um yeah we're getting better and we need to spend some time with ben huh, now that we're feeling a bit better because his time here is running out very quickly before he has to go back all right, so I've already said um, I would love you to subscribe. If you like what I've done here, please give me a thumbs up. Um, say hi in the comments. And if you've got any questions, just let me know. And I will catch you again soon for another video. Bye.